So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I'm ready.
some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! Up there, see it? I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. What happened here? Shipwreck. Well, yeah. I wonder why it crashed. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Yes, sir. If we find a cipher, I bet I could figure it out. I still 
still can't read these. these rooms. If we find a cipher, I bet I could figure it out. Focus up, boy! Drop on the beaches were exposed. We should search them for resources. So, could you think of any stories to tell? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Old. We will finish that later. Okay. torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Kaveka. Spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. 
Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. He disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. One more for the collection. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. The World Serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. So what story were you going to tell? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? We can beat you over here.
glad that's over. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? <gasps> Atreus, to me! of a language center. We should look for more like this. to next. Kvekia. strong. I don't believe it. Are you both alive? Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. 
What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? And not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? I won't seem to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Got another story? Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not.
Yeah. Well, worth a shot. Any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. That's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. Look here. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map.
Come and face me, God of Thunder! Challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. Doesn't look like it's working. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eye sword to the south. Cannot rest while my mother's murderer stands above my father's grave. Stay on the path. Right, right, I know. Happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Come on in then. So much for peace and quiet. 